Hi there, I'm Nicole King. I'm the broker owner of 41 Realty Group in Billings, Montana, and I'm here today with Keith Bishop. He is the owner of Clarity Automotive, and they offer a very different buying and selling experience related to cars, right? That is right. Awesome. Yep. Thanks for sitting down with me, and we're going to go dive deep into what you offer people because I think it's super unique and that more and more people need to know about it. I know as a busy professional, it is something if I were in the market to buy, I would absolutely be using your services. So. That's great. Tell us about I, it. I appreciate that. So Clarity Automotive, um, it does. It offers a unique experience, a uh, buying experience was uh, basically what I originally, was the original concept for my business was to help people get out of the normal process of buying a vehicle through a dealership uh, that can end up being very time consuming. Um, mm -hmm. It can be very frustrating. Uh, ultimately, maybe not you know, the most satisfying experience. Yeah. So what I do is... Uh, I operate a lot like a realtor in that sense where I'm kind of a personal representative okay. um, helping walk, walk people through the process of finding a vehicle they want to buy, um, actually hopefully test driving it, if we can get to that, it's a little harder right now, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. and then ultimately uh, completing the purchase and doing so in a way that's um, very much in their control mm -hmm. and they're making good decisions for themselves along the way and not getting pressured by someone else yeah. to do something. Yeah. Absolutely, so you sit down with them, find out exactly what they're looking for, you search for those things either locally or maybe even nationwide, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And find that, give them the opportunity to, to make that purchase without all the upsell then, right? Correct. That's awesome, yes. because that's what I hate most about the dealership. <laughs> like I don't like going onto the lot in the first place, because mm -hmm. then I get followed around by like three or four associates and that feels really intense. Right. And then I also don't like, like, if, if that's the car that I want to buy, I always feel like when I'm sitting there, first of all, as a woman, then I'm not getting treated the same way as if I had my husband sitting there with me. Sure, sure. Or, second, that they they always do this drawing on a piece of paper about all the other things that I could buy, all the protection plans and all the things, mm -hmm. and I right. just feel like it's such an upsell experience. It is. It, it's an upsell, and what I like to say is, is sometimes there are some smoke and mirrors tactics yeah. uh, where they try to make you think, along one way it's going to cost you this or that when really they might actually be trying to hide something in there in a way and okay. I don't like to speak negatively about car okay. salesmen car dealerships in, in general I don't think that's fair okay. there's a lot of good car dealerships out there there's a lot of good car salesmen out there but there's still a lot of tactics I guess that have been developed um, over many many years because because they were really yeah. in their favor yeah. And I think it's even more important than to have someone there to help represent you. Um, to just make sure that you're getting a good deal, you're getting what you want. And, and to your first point, I tell people don't don't walk onto a lot, just drive. Because yeah. uh, worst case scenario, it can be a very negative experience. Even the best case scenario, it can be a waste of your time. It yeah. really can. Do some research, get prepared, call ahead. Okay. That's a lot of what I do, is I just make a phone call and I talk to whoever it may be. I like to have contacts at dealerships. It's difficult to maintain contacts at dealerships because the turnover is so high. Oh, yeah. So okay. if there is a professional that I like to work with and they're still there six months later, I absolutely will work with them. If not, it's probably going to be the first guy that picks up the phone. Okay. And that's fine. Um, give them a shot if they're a decent person and they're going to be professional, then great. But I let them know what the deal is ahead of time. That I have a person that's interested in looking at a particular vehicle, probably going to come in and take it for a test drive, see if they like it. Okay. And that's it. That's as far as it goes. Okay. So we break it down step by step. Sure. We're not going to end up being pulled into the office and waste hours and hours for them to try to sell a vehicle when it's like, well, we haven't decided if that's the route we're going okay. in. So yeah. step by step, you stay in control, you make the decisions. In a perfect world, or the way things used to be, I would always tell people, you know, even if you think you've fallen in love with this particular vehicle, let's go test drive a couple similar vehicles, sure. competitors, and then you can really be sure that that's the one you want. That's not really possible right now. Yeah, inventory is really low. There are no vehicles. All sorts of things. There yeah. are no vehicles. You you probably can't even test drive the one that you're thinking about buying. Wow. Um, you okay. might be ordering it in late six months. And then you also help on the selling side, right? I, I do. Okay. I do. And that's something that uh, kind of went hand in hand uh, with the other side of it was you 
say you have a vehicle that you're thinking about trading in, okay, and maybe you don't like the offer that the dealer is giving. Yeah, they usually which, go which low. Which can be very low. Intentionally, well. yeah. Right. They need right. to make money when they sell it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly. Uh, and so you know, okay, well I could sell this on my own, and I'm sure I could make more money. But then you're dealing with that process. Okay. And not that it's difficult anymore. It's actually pretty pretty easy. I, mean, I don't think it's difficult. I just don't have the time. Many people don't. Right? Yeah. And you don't necessarily want to deal with all the no. people communicating or trying to come look at it or yeah. trying to get to their lowball offer. I mean, all the ins and outs of selling anything. Right? Scams are out there. Everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I mean, it can be. It, again, it's another thing that's time consuming and whatever. So what I do is I just take that process on myself. Okay. Uh, I basically act as a, as a broker, but I use that term fairly loosely yeah. in that I'm not, you know, professionally licensed, I'm not a dealer or anything like that. All I'm doing is facilitating a private sale. Okay. Right? And so, so the seller still has control over the price that's ultimately negotiated, all that kind of stuff, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay. Yep, yep. The okay. seller or the owner of the vehicle has final say okay. of what they're willing to sell the vehicle for. All mm -hmm. I'm doing is handling that process. I'm taking the photos, I'm making the listings, I'm handling all the communications. If someone wants to come test drive it, then I'm there with them. Yeah. Basically, you have very little contact. You can actually have zero contact. Uh, all you have to do is sign, a, sign over, the title, nice. sign over yeah. the title and sign the bill of sale. You don't necessarily even have to ever meet the buyer. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I love it. So. Awesome. This sounds like the perfect option for people who um, are really busy or not really even sure what they want, I'm unsure about the process, to sit down with you and just get a much better perspective of it, uh, both buying and selling. Absolutely. Um, you were featured in our local magazine, not our, I don't own it or anything, but <laughs> Billings Local Billings, Magazine. Simply yeah. local in the family. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so people can check out that article if they want to read even more about it. And then how else can they get a hold of you if they've got a car buying or selling needs? Yeah, so uh, obviously go to my website, which okay. is uh, www.clarityautogroup.com. Okay. Uh, you can always give me a call, 406-272-2548. Um, you can always check me out on Facebook. I have a Facebook business page there as well. Um, you can Google my business. Uh, you can be reached that way. You're in all the places, I, basically. I try to be in all the places okay. and be as available as possible. So I really do appreciate this because um, my biggest challenge ever since starting this business, or one of the big challenges, was just marketing and just making people aware that I exist and my service exists. Um, yeah. Because it really has been uh, a hit with people. It's been become very popular, very well, well received, I guess I would say. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of people knowing that there's maybe a better option out there, a better way to do it. Yeah, because the first thing I think is just popping by a dealership or going on their websites and seeing what their inventory is. So mm -hmm. I, I love that your service exists. Great, well, I appreciate that. So, all right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out all the information. We'll have all of his contact information linked for you so you can go right to it. And we'll see you in the next video.